Hi everyone, I'm back again and we'll continue on with the um, the daisy. I've made a little a guideline here for you that you can follow and uh, we'll go and finish the leaves. I've put one coat of forest green on all the leaves but we'll come back and we'll highlight them. So I'm going to go back into the forest green again, pick up a little yellow, just a little, blend it on your palette and all I want you to do is to just put on one side of the brush, on one side of the leaf, just a little bit of your highlight. Just brush, take the paint off and blend it off. And then we'll come back and we'll put the stem in, a little bit of forest green, a little bit of blue to darken it. And then we'll just go up the center. I'd like you to do that on all of the, all of the leaves. And I will move on to the, the yellow, white and yellow daisy up here. So we're going to load our brush up with the white and on one side I'd like you to pick up you come over so we can see on one side I'd like you to pick up a little bit of yellow just on the one side and when we lay the brush down the yellow is on the bottom like we did the blue so a little bit of pressure bring it into the centre pressure bring it into the centre pressure Bring it into the centre. There's probably enough on this brush to keep going a little. Pressure into the centre. Pressure into the centre. Wipe your brush with a paper towel. Load up with the white again. And a little bit more yellow on the bottom. Just to freshen it up a little. The white, the yellow is looking at the, the bottom. A little bit of pressure, pull it in. A little bit of pressure. Pull it into the center. Just give it a little twist as you come in. A little bit of twist. A little bit of twist, like so. Wash your brush. I'll go right on to the other flower and then we'll come back and we'll do both centers at the same time. So wash your brush well. Go back into the white again. Now we're going to pick up the, um, the cranberry wine. So the white first and then we'll pick up on the bottom side of the brush a little bit of the cranberry wine, just a little. The cranberry wine is looking down at the paper. Start at the top of the, the petal, a little bit of pressure, pull it into the centre. A little bit of pressure, pull it into the centre. A little pressure into the centre. And as you do that, the pressure, just bring it up to the point a little or to the the, the top part of the brush. Pressure into the center. Pressure into the center. Now let's load our brush again. I'll wash the brush, wipe it on the paper towel, go back into the white, pick up the cranberry wine only on one side. Cranberry wine's looking down, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure. Pull it all into the center. Into the center. It's a pretty color that. Into the center. Now we'll move on to our either your Deerfoot brush or the Royal Lang Nickel. Um, I call it smushing brush, size 16. And we'll go into the yellow dry brush and we'll dab the center in. Just dab, dab, dab. We'll give it two coats. Just pick up a little bit more yellow. Dab, dab, dab. Now we'll pick up some white. We'll finish one at a time while it's wet. So we're working weight on weight. So a little bit of highlight. And by doing that, it's easier to blend. So you've got a little bit of highlight. Wipe your brush. Now pick up your burnt sienna, just a little and just dab it on the, the bottom part of the center. Wipe your brush, take it off. Pick up a little yellow and then just blend the two colors together. A little bit more yellow, I think. Kind of lost it there a little. There yeah. Then back into the yellow again and we'll do the other one. Two coats just to give it that 
little bit of depth and then pick up the white give it a little bit of highlight then wipe your brush pick up the burnt sienna put a shadow on the bottom wipe your brush and gently touch them together just to blend them okay there we are now you're going to finish your leaves by yourself i've showed you how to do these too now what we'll do is we'll um i'm going to use a royal lang nickel one eighth angle brush i'm going to pick up the forest green and i'm just going to put in a little bit of color of green in here just a little any old way you just put it in just to give the impression there's some leaves there somewhere in the background there we are now we're going to paint our lavender. Now with the lavender, um, oh, I'm going to need that purple paint, please. Up the back. Thanks. Should have had that ready. So we're going to use some grape juice, which is another lovely colour. And I will load the brush with the grape juice. And on the tip of the angle brush, I'll pick up some white. Just dab it a little. And then, have you got that there? Yeah. And then all I want you to do is just touch up. Touch, 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 touch. And as you come up, just one touch. Like so. A little bit more. A little, little bit of white. Not much. And we can do another one here. So it's a little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure, 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 and then single. We'll do them all around. Then you will pick up some green. You don't have to wash your brush. A little bit of green and a little bit of white. Not much, just a light, that fraction. And then we're just going to put in some little, little strokes here. Just some little touches. What I'll do down here is I'll give you a step by step on how to do those lavenders, make it easier for you. So we'll load up again with the purple, the grape juice, pick up a little white, and then all I want you to do is push with the point of the brush, push, 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 push. push and then one up the centre. And then wipe your brush with your paper towel, a little bit of green, a little white, and then just little bits of green coming out from in between the lavender, the lavender, yeah, the lilac anyway. There we are. And also in the centre, we'll put some little flowers, so back to the grape juice again pick up a little white and we'll bring in some little little flowers just some little flowers in the center which what i'll do is i'll i'll do one here so you can see what i'm just a little bit of pressure 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 a little dot in the center they'll be smaller than that when you put them on there but pressure 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 there we are i hope that was help to you um and um enjoy painting and we'll get back to you with something different next time enjoy 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 your painting stay safe and well bye